but you guys are all over the place when it comes to Sega, correct? Yeah, we try. <laughs> <laughs> all, yeah. all over the place kind of sums us up, mate, doesn't it? That's kind of bad. I actually stole the instruction manual out the box and smuggled it home and took it into school. like So I could prove to people in school that, that I actually had access to one because they didn't believe that anybody had paid 400 quid for this games console. We shipped Sega Saturn to retailers today. It's out there. And he's not wanting to say that. He's literally sweating at the point that he's, he's not wanting to make that announcement. Finding gaming times tough. Unless you've got yourself one of these. And he looks over her shoulder. <laughs> and he's playing Super Monaco GP behind her back on a Game Gear. What is the 3D graphics? You got this big, like, uh, prison inmate wearing a tutu. Like, what is that I, all about? And he's like, I, bug. You know, so so that, that was $30 million. It was literally one person, me and my best mate, Sam, in school. We, were the, we felt like it was us against the world at that time. It was, it was the same for me as well. <laughs> yeah. But then in 98, at least you got to buy a bunch of cheap games, right? <laughs> well, yeah. I, that's true. Are you sure you want a Sega Saturn, though? You know, don't you want a, don't you want a PlayStation? No, I want a Sega Saturn. But have you seen Crash Bandicoot? Well, actually, I want to play Nights into Dreams. No, but Crash Bandicoot is better. And even my mum said to me, are you sure you don't want a PlayStation? Now, now... <laughs>